E-Team exclusive. That's a big chunk of change for anybody. And now a big warning from the E-Team this morning. You might be looking for a job right now, but scammers are looking to rip you off. This happened to uh, a young man in Westlake in a devastating way. As E-Team investigator Jonathan Walsh shows us, it's a record-setting scam to hit the city. Have you had any other case this large when it comes to a scam? Not that kind of money. Captain Guy Turner from the Westlake Police Department says a young man was searching for work while online. The supposed employer hired him after emails and a phone call. First red flag. Nobody hires anybody without an in-person meeting. The man who didn't want to go on camera with us thought he was going to be the project manager, but he first had to buy office equipment with his own money and pay in iTunes gift cards. Red flags two and three. No employer should ever ask you to use your personal funds to support your, your job. Nobody does business with Apple iTunes cards. But the scammers reimbursed the man with checks. He thought they were legit. So the young man was excited driving in for his first day of work. They told him to come to an office in downtown Cleveland that doesn't exist. Then of course they cut off contact with them and then the, uh, the final coup de grace, they reversed all the reimbursements that they had provided to him, so he ended up being out $22,000. $22,000. To add insult to injury, that supposed office is located right across the street from the Justice Center. I'm Five on Your Side investigator Jonathan Walsh for the E-Team. Wow. Uh, the Federal Trade Commission suggests before you post any of your information on a job site, make sure you investigate that website first. Uh, check around a job offer with your family um, and friends to see if they think that you should take any, uh, ex accept any offers and report any scam to the FTC. Still ahead.